your favorite host Brittany Lenise. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we're going to just be doing a talk with me. I never post videos like this but it's definitely something that I want to start doing especially for my entrepreneurs. So without further ado we're just going to jump right in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this thing because the content is coming 2021. All right, so if you guys see me looking down a lot, or if you hear papers, papers, papers rattling and stuff like that, that's because I have my notes right here, and I just want to make sure that I stay on track and keep up with what's going on. So as you all know, being an entrepreneur is one of my favorite things to do, and like just being a business for myself is one of my favorite things to do. But I find it really, really hard sometimes for me to build trust with my clients or. To build trust with my potential clients some people won't even shop with you if they don't trust you or if they don't know you so it's just like damn how do i build trust with these people how do i get these people to trust me trust what i'm doing and you know be willing to spend their money with me like what do i have to do in order to get them to spend their money with me and all of it plays into building trust no i know that i'm not gonna spend my money with you if i can't trust you or if you have not proven yourself worthy to me or worthy of my money. Or if you just straight up don't care. I'm not going to invest my hard-earned money with somebody who don't care. So the topic of today's um, conversation <laughs> is building trust. Because without trust, you have nothing. That's just like a relationship. Without trust, you don't have a relationship. Without trust, your relationship is dead. What are we doing if we don't trust each other? You know? So, like, that's our main focus is to build trust today. So I have this broken down into about 15 or 13 talking points and we just gonna hammer through it because y'all need all of these gems, y'all need all of this information and I'm just about to give it to y'all straight like that. So the very first thing is to tell the truth. I can't trust you if you lying to me. <laughs> like that's, that's first, that is, that's two, but that's first, like first things first, you gotta tell the truth. You have to let people know where you stand and you have to have integrity. So what I have is that you need to communicate clearly so that you can be understood. A lot of times when you don't communicate clear or you don't get your point across, it could come off as you being misunderstood or you being misconstrued. And who wants that? Just be clear about what you want. Like, my prices are my prices. Uh, I'm not going to give you the run around or play around. My bundles cost this. My lashes are this. And that's just it. Or whatever you're selling or whatever you're promoting. Like, be clear about it. Don't give them the run around. Don't make them have to figure it out. Like, you tell them what it is. Set it and let it be that. Um, What else? Make it so that people don't have doubt in what you're saying. Like, have confidence in what you're saying. But also, be clear. Be honest. Call things what they are, don't manipulate people, and just don't lie. Like, simple as that. Just tell the truth. You don't have to lie. All right, you guys. So, the next thing on my list is to have respect. Having respect will go so far. For one, you need to respect yourself. Like, you can't respect nobody else if you don't have respect for you and yourself. Like, <laughs> is, that, is that simple? Um, you just need to be genuine. Show that you care. Have integrity. That plays into talking straight, too. Like, you got to have some type of respect for people. Don't be out here being mean to grandmama because she asking you a thousand questions about your product. Like, you might miss your blessing. Grandmas be, grandmas be connected. Grandmas be connected. But no, it don't just go with grandmas either. It goes with everybody. Honestly, like, you need to be respectful to everyone. And you need to be respectful with yourself as well you need to be fairness you need to be kind you need to care you need to be full of love at the end of the day this is your business you know so like if your business don't demonstrate all of those things why would you expect somebody to shop with you why would you expect somebody to spend their money with you or go and tell the next person so the next person could tell the next person and the next person could tell the next person i ain't telling nobody and if i do tell them she was not respectful not only did she not respect me she didn't respect herself either so that means that your self-image and your character needs to be respectful sis or bro you know whatever y'all are whatever you want to be today it's cool you feel me so the third thing on my list is create transparency. So that just means like I watch TC Nation, you know, Transformation Church, and they always say like hot, open, and transparent. Be hot, humble, open, and transparent. Yeah, whatever y'all say, whatever they say. But like transparency is key. 
when it comes to being an entrepreneur, sometimes you need to take your clients on your journey with you. Sometimes you need to allow your client to see a day in a life or, you know, like just see what you go through, how it works. At the end of the day, it's enough money out here for everybody. So even if you're trying to be that person who you don't want people in on your business or you don't want people to know how it functions, at the end of the day, you're training your replacement. Your business could potentially make you a billionaire, but instead you want to be stingy and not get the sauce. But I mean... Either way it goes, you need to be transparent. So, in my eyes, being transparent is I have a wig and somebody ordered it. Let's say today's Tuesday. I told this client when she ordered it that her wig would be ready on Friday. All right, Friday's here and that wig is not ready. However, I knew that on Thursday, that wig was not going to be ready on Friday. And as soon as I find out that her wig wasn't going to be ready, I reach out to the client. You know, hey, it's the holiday time, you know, it's holiday season. For some reason, FedEx or UPS or whatever, it doesn't matter. The shipping company is not going to have your product here to me on time in order for me to create your wig. I'm deeply apology. I'm deeply apologetic about it. And I have sympathy and empathy with this client because I know that they're going to be pissed, especially since Friday is Christmas. So if you was expecting your hair to be ready on Christmas and it's not, I'd be mad as well. And I may want my money back. But at the end of the day, at least you were trans at least you was transparent with the client. And when you're being transparent like that, then this is a whole nother sidebar. But when you're being transparent like that, give the client some options. Like in my shoes, and I only can speak to it myself because I don't know any other businesses, but no, this wig isn't going to be ready by Friday. However, I do have three other wigs for you to choose from. Um, when your wig does come, you know, I can throw in some extra lashes for you. Um, the next time you order with me, I'll make sure that your shipping is free. You know, anything. Your your goal when you're an entrepreneur should always be to satisfy the customer. Like That is always the main goal is to ensure happiness of your customer. And most likely, for the most part, a lot of clients are happy when you're transparent with them. And along with your transparency, you give them extra options. When doing that, they're going to be happy. It's honestly nothing that can, you know, I mean, obviously they may want their money back, but outside of that, you still have other clients and you still have to fail. You know, like that goes into it too. Like you still have to fail at something. Everything's not going to be perfect all the time, especially when you're an entrepreneur. And that's just one thing that you need to know. All right. I'm done with my rant. Back to what I was saying. Um, the next thing you need to do is right your wrongs. Didn't I just give an amazing, an amazing example of that? When you F up, and don't get me wrong, like when you F up, F up big, but apologize for it and be quick about it and be humble in your apology, entrepreneur. Like if you're not being humble, then this just goes back to no self-respect, period, point blank. So you got to be humble when you're apologizing to people hey you know i made a mistake and when you write your wrongs you need to have solution-based outcomes and demonstrate that you have humility like please i'm sorry i made a mistake i was wrong let me fix it what can i do to ensure that you're happy you know what can i do to fix this is i have other options you know like you just need to write your wrongs and make a resolution have a resolution and instead of just apologizing. Don't always try to justify yourself either. Like, if you fucked up, I made a mistake. I would like to move on from here. Let's, let's fix this. Because a lot of stuff, it be sound like... And don't get me wrong, like, I'm probably about to say the wrong thing. But, like, when you are trying to justify yourself, it almost comes off as a little arrogant. And it also kind of, come, kind of comes off as you're making excuses. And you never want to make excuses either. Simple as that. Like, own your shit. The next thing on my list is to be loyal. Show that you're loyal. You have to be loyal to your customers. You have to be loyal to your day ones. You have to be loyal to your clients, you know? And that doesn't mean, like, oh, I'm going to start a rewards program with my business. Like, no, you don't have to do a rewards program either. But just show 
show that you're loyal give credit to others give credit to others give credit when credit is due and be loyal to the people who are not around you know like hey i'm acknowledging that you did this and i appreciate that you did this hey i noticed that you've been doing this for a while and i really appreciate you doing this you didn't have to and i'm super thankful that you are and i'm super thankful that you do treat people fairly and when you're loyal like that shows that you have a trustworthy characteristic what person is not going to want to interact with you if you have a trustworthy characteristic all right y'all i gotta change my sheets i told y'all my notes be written down and we gotta go to the next page so the next thing that i have is deliver results so delivering results is basically saying hey your product will be ready this day have it ready when you say it's going to be ready that's the number building trust one-on-one and if it's not ready follow those other steps that i just gave you also keep track of when you mess up and when you get it right view the ratio of your results like all right i see three times last month i didn't deliver when i said that i was Four times this week, I wasn't on time for something that I said I was going to be on time for. I was late. You know, like, and start looking at those patterns. Once you start keeping track of your results and keeping track of what when you did what you were supposed to do and when you didn't, you'll be able to see, like, okay, here's a trend, and let's have a solution-based outcome to this trend. Let's fix what's wrong. Let's fix what I'm messing up. Let's fix what's not right. And, you know, like, let's just go from there. The next thing is to get better. That plays a part in delivering results. Because once you're keeping track of what you're doing and you start seeing your trends and seeing where you're effing up at royally and you're seeing where you're doing good at, then you can start to get better. So now you know that you have meetings two times this week at 10 a.m. You know that when you woke up at 9, you wasn't on time to the meeting that was at 10 o'clock. So this means that you need to either get up at 8 a.m. or get up at 8.30. That way you give yourself an extra hour or an extra 30 minutes to get where you need to be on time. Or you told a client that you would have her stuff ready on Friday. It's Tuesday. You know that those, that's not enough time. So now you should go in and say, hey, um, your item's not going to be ready until Tuesday of next week. Give me seven days instead of giving me four days. You know, like, that's how you get better. You always want to find solution-based outcomes to whatever the problem is. That's honestly the only way that you're going to get better. And you have to track your mistakes. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't want you to dwell on the mistakes that you made. And I don't want you to dwell on the fact that you're always doing wrong. But I do want you to dwell on making it better. I do want you to dwell on making progress. I do want you to dwell on, on doing it differently and figuring out a way to be better and figuring out a way to go from there, you know, like figuring out a way to go forward. The next thing you need to do is confront reality. And I think like as an entrepreneur, confronting reality is one of the hardest things that you have to do. And the only reason why I say it's one of the hardest things that you have to do because reality slap us in the face all the time, honey. Literally, before I sat down to record this, reality said, psh, 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 boom, 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 psh, 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 psh. and I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. No, reality did not care. And it's crazy because reality, like people confront and fake and put on facades and put on airs like there's someone that they're not or that you know just play a whole role of in to be and portray to be something that they're not but baby reality <laughs> reality gonna meet you where reality is gonna slap the real you real quick so you need to humble up because reality gonna punch the real you so you can fake all you want, but reality going to bop you. Like, yeah, you thought that was cute. Boop. Yeah, you thought that was cute. Boop. And, and what you going to do? What you going to do? You can't do nothing. So you need to meet issues head on. You need to deal with issues head on. You need to address tough situations like right then and there. Right then and there. Acknowledge things that are unsaid. If you feel deep in your spirit and you know acknowledge it don't just sleep don't just sweep it under the rug don't just let it go 
Like, that's not confronting reality. How do you expect to be successful when you're just being very, very passive? No. Acknowledge it. And look, this ain't right. And I don't like it. All right, y'all. So, we're going on to the next page. Honestly, I don't know why. But, like, I'm forgetting my notes. And I just keep having to check my notes. And it's like, I know what I'm saying. But... I just want to make sure that it's coming out right. Because it's like, when, you be trying to, when you're trying to talk and you're trying to say stuff, you might overcompensate and miss the whole point that you're trying to say. And I never want to do that. So I always, be wanting, I always try to be cut and dry. But then, you know, I go off on my little rant and I go off on my little tangent. But just work with me, okay? God not done with me. Just work with me. The next thing that you need to do when building trust with people is clarify your expectations. So when I say clarify your expectations, that means that you need to have a clear vision and a clear agreement up front. So that means, and I only can give examples from my business, but clear example up front. Going forward, all wigs must be paid for in full. I'm no longer doing down payments. I'm no longer doing like, any of that, basically. I just drew a blank, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, every, your wig has to be paid for up front. I don't care if you're buying a wig that I already made. I don't care if I'm you gave me your bundles and I'm making a wig for you. Like, you need to pay in full up front. And if we have any discrepancies, we'll go from there. If we have any, discrep any discrepancies with your product, um, with your final product, then we'll go from there. And I'm very understanding. So if it ever comes to a situation where you need your money back, which doesn't happen often, but, you know, there's those one-off situations, then we'll go from there. But up until then, you need to pay up front. And I just think that that is a clear expectation. Like, you need to share your, share your vision. Don't be vague about it. You need to be clear about the quantity, the cost, the speed, you know, and discuss and reveal your expectations. Don't just keep them to yourself and keep going about it until it's understood, you know. And if your expectations are non-negotiable, stand on that. Like, my expectations are non-negotiable. We can't go back and forth about it because I said what I said, period. The next thing on my list is to practice accountability. You have to be accountable. You need to hold yourself and others accountable, especially if you have a business and you got people underneath you. If your team does not hold you accountable, baby, you need a new team. If your friends don't hold you accountable, honey, then you need a new team. If the people in your family, I'm sorry, you can't replace your family, but you get what I'm saying. Like, if the people in your close-knit circle do not hold you accountable, then you need to ditch your circle and start over. And vice versa for you. If you're not holding your family members, your best friends, your circle, the people who are helping you run your business, if you don't hold them accountable, then you need to go. Like, you are the problem. If you're scared of conflict, then see ya. You gotta go. Like, you have... Accountability is key. And you need to take responsibility for everything, especially as an entrepreneur. You need to hold yourself responsible for everything, good and bad. Good, bad. Whatever I said, good and bad. You need to hold yourself responsible for that and accountable for that. If you don't hold yourself accountable, who will? If you don't take ownership for your actions and your mistakes, who will? Especially when it's your business. Your business can really fall off because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Your business can really fall off because you're not taking care of things the way that you need to be taken care of. If some shit get fucked up, I know that I shouldn't talk like that. If some stuff get messed up, it's on you. Like, it's on you. And you need to fix it. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to build trust with this client. You can't build trust with this client if you're not taking accountability for the actions that you had and the role that you played in it. Recognize the role that you played when a mistake happened. And then you need to learn from there and go from there. And then you need to fix whatever mistake you made for you potentially lose out on this customer, you know? All right, I'm done cutting it to y'all because I be real, real, real passionate about what I be saying. The next thing you need to do Y'all, I'm not even sponsored by Chase, but I love this pen. This pen, if you go, if you make with Chase, y'all, they got busting pens. Honey Tin got some sweet pens too. Honey Tin got sweet pens too. Okay, y'all. So now y'all see how distracted I get. But back to what I was saying. Um, the next thing on my list is to simply listen. Y'all talk too much, and I don't even want to say y'all. I put me in that circle. 
But God gave you two ears and one mouth and two eyes for a reason. You need to look and observe and listen way more than you talk. Literally, like, if you just shut up, you do not know how much you would learn by just shutting up. People talk so much. People always need to be heard. People always trying to get their view across. People always trying to get their point out. Like, just shut up. Period. Shut up. 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 That's it. Just shut up. Shut up. Stop talking so much. And just listen. If you really just listen, I mean, like, when I say listen, I mean, just listen. Listen before you speak. And then you need to listen with your heart. You need to listen with your mind. You need to listen with your ears. You need to understand. You need to diagnose. Do not assume and find out. Just find out. If you talk too much, you'll never understand what the person's problem was. If you talk too much, you'll never understand what their issue was. You'll never understand why they felt the way they felt. You'll never understand why they're, you know, like you'll never understand. Just stop talking and let them talk. And then if they're saying stuff that you don't understand or they're saying things that you don't agree with or you can't comprehend, just ask. Can you elaborate on that? I'm sorry. I kind of missed what you, I kind of missed the point you were trying to make. Can you just be cut and dry? Can you just let me know what it is that you were trying to tell me because I don't know. The next thing on my list is to keep your commitment. Simple. Nah, you know I done discussed this multiple times in this same conversation. But like, when you're keeping your commitment, if you say this wig gonna be ready on Friday, on Tuesday, that wig needs to be ready on Friday when it Friday comes. Not Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or next Tuesday. And if you know that it's not working for you, you need to add on extra time at the beginning. Hey, I know that I said Friday, you should be saying this on Wednesday. Hey, I know I said Friday, but it's not gonna be ready on Friday. It'll be ready on Sunday or it'll be ready on Monday. Is that okay with you? And if it's not okay with you, is there anything that we can do to work things out? You know, like really, really try. Your client needs to be your main priority, y'all. Like you need to keep your commitments. And that's not only with your clients. That's with the people who you're around as well, like with your circle too. And if you have people working up you and your business like you need to come keep your commitments if you say the meeting start at 10 o'clock then the meeting needs to start at 10 o'clock if you say that you're going to have these products shipped out as a wholesale you need to make sure as a wholesale distributor that your products are shipped out by this time on this day it's just that simple it's just that simple how can i trust you if you're never on time how can i trust you if you're always late how can i trust you if you never do what you're supposed to do how can i trust you if you never say you know, like, if you don't keep your word, like, your word, all you have is your word in time. All you have is your word in time. One of those, you got to hold true to. You really need to hold true to both of them. But, you know, if you just have to be, if we just being honest here, just hold true to your word. Like, just keep your word. And that is all that I have. That's it. That's it. Oh, well, I guess I give y'all a free wing. Give trust. Like I said, it's hard for me to trust and respect people. So, like, for me, no, I'm not going to trust you in the beginning. You have to earn it. Trust is earned. That's just me. Respect is given, but trust is earned. Or maybe trust is given and respect is earned, but I've never been like that. I, all You have to earn your trust with me. I'm not just going to give it to you because I'm too precious and my heart is too delicate for me to sit up here and let any and, any and everybody just run me over. And even if you're not going to run me over, like I still have that mindset because I've been burned so bad in the past. But I still try to give trust. It's not like I'm just completely, oh no, I'm anti-you. Like, no, not at all. It's not. That's not the case at all. Like, I definitely give trust. It may not be what someone wants, but you get it. Give, and you honestly, you have to give people the same trust you want them to have for you. I would love for people to trust me. I would love for everybody to trust me upon the first meeting. But however, I don't do it. So how can I hold you to a standard that I don't even hold myself to, you know? Like how can I expect you to do something that I don't even do? That's the, life don't work like that. And you just have to build, like, building trust takes time. I will give you that. Building trust takes time. But when you're an entrepreneur and you have a business, you need your clients to trust you. You need that. So I have to set my pride aside sometimes. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's so hard for me to do that. But because of the type of God that I have, because of who my Savior is, honey, y'all, like, 
being uncomfortable i'm getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and you have to get uncomfortable with being comfortable with it. you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable especially this is something that i battle with every day as an entrepreneur and honestly i'm only getting better with time i'm only getting better so that's it for this video y'all and all in all in order to be a successful entrepreneur and sell whatever it is that you're trying to sell you have to build trust and at the end of the day your client is your number one priority the happiness of your client is always your number one priority so building trust with them to ensure that they're happy to ensure that they keep spending money you better do whatever you have to do you got to like it's no other way around that there's no other way around that so y'all know i always give y'all my socials and i'm mad i can't find my phone because i want y'all to see my website y'all i recorded my podcast too and people who listen to my podcast i recorded my youtube video too at the same time but my youtubers are getting a perk today of seeing my website simply because they need to go check it out and shop the collection y'all i have wigs in stock i have lashes in stock like y'all see what's going on it's getting real serious around here 2021 but wigs by brit is not coming to play 2021 like at all y'all i told y'all my dream i want to have wigs in walmart target and myers sally's beauty supply like, i want to have wigs in there that say wigs by brit and i don't see why that can't happen i don't see why i can't turn my dreams into reality so i have to do what i have to do you know and as being an entrepreneur like i had a lot of struggles i've been in business for almost four years so i know a lot and i'm gonna give y'all my gems i promise as an entrepreneur i will not let y'all fall to the wayside even people who have been in business longer than me like i really want to start having entrepreneurs come on here and talk with me and give advice with me so next week maybe next week not you youtube y'all might just get the audio <laughs> but no visuals i can definitely say that no visuals but next week, I might bring back the Queen Circle because, you know, in the Queen Circle, it's my mom, Deshaun, and my aunt, April, what I call her, Tweety. My mom and my aunt, they both are entrepreneurs. My mom makes sweets for a living, sweets in a jar, like really, honestly, anything, pound cake, sweet potato pie, apple pie, peach pie, you name it, she make it. She even did pretzels and strawberries and fruit, like how Edible Arrangement does. But you know, that's her business, that's her venture. My Auntie Tweety, she has a boutique. So she sells clothes, jewelry, handbags, but then she also makes oils and shea butters and you know, different things like that. So I'm not the only entrepreneur, you know, they're in my circle and that's why we call it the Queen Circle. And they struggle just like I struggle. And they've been in business years before I have. And, you know, like, they still have struggles to this day. Like, we literally just sat and cried, all three of us together last week. So don't ever think that somebody's better or any of that. Like, we, I'm really just here to drop the gym. Because I'm going through it. I'm living it. And I can be transparent about it. And collectively, me, you, 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 anybody listening, anybody watching, we gonna get this 2021 COVID came and flipped the world upside down i'm not gonna lie COVID came in and messed us up but we got this our bounce back game our double back game is so strong god got us and you need to remember that like as an entrepreneur you really need to tap into prayer whoever your higher being is or whatever your higher power is for me is god and that's just gonna always be that but like for you you know and maybe you need to cross over to the godly side. You know, maybe you need to make God your higher power. But at the end of the day, like, once you build a strong relationship where you pray consistently and just talking to him consistently, and like I told y'all last week, you don't have to pray for an hour. You can, 60 seconds of prayer. That's it. 60 seconds, 30 seconds. Just something, anything. Just start building that relationship, just like when it comes to working out. The more you work out, you know, the more you build that muscle memory, you're like, all right, I need to go a little bit harder. All right, you need to do the same thing with your prayer life. If you only got 15 seconds of prayer, you all right. The next time you pray, you need to try and do 30. The next time you pray, you feel me, you keep doing 15, keep doing 15 till it hits you. All right, I'm good. Now, 30 seconds. You keep doing 30, you keep doing 30. All right, 
let's try 45 let's even you know what forget that you forget 45 let's do a minute of prayer 60 seconds all right come on keep pushing in 60 seconds keep pushing in 60 seconds and you see like oh my god i'm just so much stuff is coming out and things are starting to get better all right let let's just go for two minutes now you know and you just keep going just keep going just keep pushing just keep striving and i promise you it's going to work out for you whatever you're going through is going to get better and now i feel like i'm preaching because i feel them oh i feel them but like whatever you're going through is going to get better i promise you it just seems hard right now but it's going to work out and i know that it's easier said than felt or done but when i tell you that it's going to work out whatever he has for you is for you and you need to trust the process just like you want to build trust with other people, you need to build trust with God. He tries to build that trust with you daily, but you're not letting him build it with you. That's on you. So you need to work on that, and you got to fix that. Because how can you, you know, like, how can you have faith that what you're going through is going to get better? How can you have faith that you're going to make $10,000? Forget 10000 I know there's people out here who have a business and haven't even made $500. Like, if that's your goal, set your goal and pray on it. If a thousand is your goal, make it your goal and pray on it. I have my goal. Have you set yours? 2021 is around the corner. I made a vision board. I'm going to post it. I am. And it's a really nice vision board, too. But, like, I told y'all, write it down, make it plain, cut and dry. All right? That's it for this podcast and this youtube video thank y'all so much for tuning in to be Lenise show y'all y'all know once i get going once i get started it'd be hard to stop but that's it i'm really done with this rant until next time bye